Tonight, our little group is taking in one of the cooking experiences in Carnival Kitchen. I'm really excited about this. Plus that I had a chance to do this uh, on, on the celebration and we're really looking forward to doing it again on this ship. And the way that these typically work is uh, you'll actually learn how to make the dishes. You'll go through the process of actually cooking it, tasting it, sampling it yourself. And then they'll serve to us the, the meal that we cooked. It'll be a, a different version that was actually prepared in the back by experts rather than uh, just us novices. But still, it's a lot of fun and it's in the, the beautiful carnival kitchen area. So I'm really looking forward to that. We are all set, ready to cook up a Orient Unknown is the name of the class. And so I know it's some Asian food, but as far as that, I don't know what else it's going to be, but we're going to cook it and then um, learn how to cook all the recipes. And then we'll, they'll present it, the food up here and we'll get to eat the meal as well. So it's really exciting. So our first recipe is I am the juju. Yay. I am not making that up. I hope you find that chopped red onion. Chop right on. Chop right on. All of this to your mixing bowl. Favorite ingredient first. Mm. Add all of this chopped garlic. Please. Garlic. You can use the spoon. Add all of this. Add the ginger. This ginger. This ginger. Just the ginger. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, no. Ginger. Ginger. Yes. That was the ginger. This is the garlic. I am but ginger. Ginger. I think you already have. No problem. Then you will find the chopped lemongrass. This one, right? Yes. <laughs> I thought that looked like would be what I would think would be lemongrass. Then you will find there is yeah. a oh, yeah. chopped lemon leaves. Lemon leaves. The green color, fine yeah. chop. Mm -hmm. That is a lemon leaves. That is a coriander powder Taste that. and cinnamon Just powder. Like it. Two browning color, coriander powder and cinnamon powder. You can add both of them. Yes. Cinnamon and coriander powder. That's definitely cinnamon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's cinnamon. That's definitely cinnamon. Yes, that one. Both of them. Oops. Please yep. cinnamon. add both of them. And you can find the yellow okay. in color. That is definitely turmeric. You need to add all of this. That's in the galan bowl, we add the turmeric. Mm, that smells so good. Mm -hmm. Then, you need to oh, add the chicken. Look. Chicken? Oh, yeah. Where'd your spoon go? Yeah. Yep. God. What are we doing? Tossing. So toss the chicken to cook. It smells better. Look, it tastes. God, that was nasty. Got a trick. Banana leaf. Mm -hmm. You can keep your chicken pieces. Put the chicken on there. Make sure you add all the spices. All right. All the marination. What are all that seasoning and herbs on there? That looks fantastic. I mean, look at that. Didn't taste very really good. Doesn't taste so good, but yeah. It'll taste much better when it's cooked. Nasi bean rice. Nasi udo. Okay. okay. So nasi udo. Nasi so udo. You will find nasi there is a jasmine rice. Mm -hmm. Jasmine rice. There is a fresh herbs. You will try all of this. Fresh herbs. Fresh herbs. Then roasted coriander powder in our napkin. Please add roasted coriander. All. Dump. Mm. Now, in the meantime, when water mm -hmm. gets boiled, it does. we need like to tea. wash the rice. Ginger tea. Okay. So you will find there is a ingredient missing. All right, our rice is simmering. So why is the rice getting cold? Smell it. it. It's a good thing we're not depending on me to make our meal. Then you need to add coconut milk to the rice. Ooh, look at that. See, it's, it's almost done. Yes, this is the sticky rice. It will be. Uh, after we put flour, we turn off the lower induction as well. And then Cover. we need to completely 
<laughs> you find there is a shredded chicken, ah. boiled egg, fried garlic, yes. oh. and scallion. Yes. yes. So now, Think of this. you can pour your soup to the soup cup. Okay. Oh. So. Oh, that was good. Very first time preparing soto ayam. Soto. Soto. Soto ayam. Looks like a chicken noodle soup. All right, with these noodles, and it definitely tastes almost like a like a ramen kind of thing. Mm hmm. Mm. There's good. That is good. I didn't like it by itself. But right. I've had this, and it's much better. So does lemongrass, lemongrass have spice to it? Because I never thought A little bit of bite. Yeah, a little bit of bite. This is so good. I'm like forward by just... The broth by itself. I wasn't crazy about all the flavors, but then he right. poured it over the egg and what everything yeah, was in the bowl and... all together. Mm. There's heat on the back of my throat. Um, but not too much. That is good. These are all flavors from Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. I think I said this was a this particular one was an Indonesian mm -hmm. soup. The chef and his team are they all from India and the Philippines, so they know what they're doing with this cuisine. <laughs> Lemon leaves. These. Lemon leaves. Then you will find chopped garlic. Garlic. Oh yeah, no doubt. Then brown sugar. You will find there's a brown sugar. You yeah, add all good. of this. Yeah. Yes, please. Then yep. roasted coriander powder. Mm -hmm. That roasted coriander powder with a brown in color. Yes, this is, no, this is not spicy. Right. Thank you. All right, now we've finished the cooking part. Now we're headed over to the eating part. We'll go right over here, and they'll serve us really the dishes we just made. They've made versions of them. We only had like samples. So now comes the eating. Another feature to this class is not only do you get to cook and then you get to eat, but it also includes unlimited wine. And they kind of pair up the, the wine for the for the court. So we've got a beautiful Spanish ganache over there. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but it's really good wine. Cheers. Good. So Carnival Kitchen was a fun experience. We really enjoyed all the cooking and then the dinner. It's certainly something I would never have attempted to make Indonesian food. It was a blast.